Welcome to your first past life regression therapy session. I want to just congratulate you, first of all, for saying yes to this experience. I'm really excited for you to experience this today. Um, past life regression therapy has just been such an eye-opener for me, and I really want to share that with other people um, because it's an important place to recognize that you can come into any time that you need it. Um, through past life regression therapy, you'll get a little bit of a taste of what hypnotherapy is. Um, you can self-hypnosis yourself, I guess self-hypnotize, um, and you can practice these and listen to this anytime that you want um, to go into the same past life or a different past life. You can explore hundreds of your past lives and I, it's a power that I just really encourage you to explore. So um, congratulations today for coming to your first session. Um, right now I just want to encourage you to just you know, take a pause to this and find a space that you can be seated comfortably to where your neck can fully relax. It can be seated or reclined. Um, I don't recommend laying fully down unless you can assure yourself that you're not going to fall asleep listening to my voice, um, but it is a very trance-hypnotic voice that I'll get into, so I do recommend just staying a little bit seated up so that you don't fall asleep, so that you can get the full experience of the session. But if you do fall asleep, it's okay. You can listen to it again and again, and, and it's totally okay. All right, once you have the space and you're comfortable and you're ready, I'm just going to ask you, are you ready to experience past life regression therapy today? Amazing. So I'm going to start with just a couple of questions um, that just you can you know, think to yourself the answer to the question so that you know your intention and we can set an intention for what kind of information you'd like to gain from this today. So the question that I like to start with is, you know, what was it that made you click the button to say yes to this experience? Was it some sort of hurt or trauma that you have more questions about? Was it um, a pattern that you keep enduring over and over again that you just want to see where that pattern comes from? Is it just a genuine curiosity of, you know, who am I connected to in a past life? What, what was I in a past life? Who was I, you know? Um, and you just want to see how your family or friends connect with you and those, you know, universal connections and those soul groups that travel with you through time and, and you know, explore those. So just take a second and just set your intention of exactly what it is that you want to look for today. And it can be any of those things. And just take a second and just focus your mind on that before we go into our place of peace, okay? All right. Once you're ready, I ask that you close your eyes and give this your full relaxed attention. Just allow your subconscious mind to come to the forefront and use its wisdom to make positive changes today in a way that's acceptable to you. Focus on your breathing with each breath going deeper and deeper within. Inhale and exhale. Connect with your inner relaxation and go deeper within into the feelings of deep relaxation with each breath taking you deeper and deeper. As you breathe, I want you to think of your favorite, most peaceful color. And I want you to picture that you're breathing in that color. And I want you to visualize that all the tension in your body is this gray color. And it's flowing out of you as your peaceful color fills you from the throat, the lungs, the belly, all the way out to your hands and fingers, through your legs and your toes, 
being filled up with peaceful, calm color. And I want you to think of it like helium a little bit. And I want you to picture as you fill up with your calm color that you're lifting off of the world and that you're floating just above yourself, whether you feel like you're floating in air or water, you're floating and you feel peaceful, calm. Let all that relaxation flow into your muscles so as you breathe, every single muscle relaxes. Relax the muscles of your face, Relax your jaw, loosen that grip of your teeth. Relax the neck and shoulders. Let your whole head relax into a comfortable, enjoyable position that's weightless. Let any tension or weight on your shoulders lighten for now. Relax your back and your core. Relax the muscles of your arms. Feel your arms and fingers become loose limp and relaxed. Relax the muscles of your legs. Feel your legs and feet become more loose, limp, and relaxed. Relax the muscles of your whole body now. Feel all the muscles of your whole body become more relaxed, lighter, floating, connecting with your inner relaxation, going deeper within, into the feelings of deep relaxation, which each breath takes you deeper within. Now imagine that color of calm and visualize it lightening, brightening, and flowing down through the top of your head. Let it be a healing, loving, wise, light energy that can bring peace to every molecule in your body. Let that light, bright color flow all through your body. And let the light flow into your face and your jaw. Let the light flow into your neck and throat. So your whole head fills with this healing, loving, wise, light energy that can surround you and flow within you and go deep. Let the light flow into and onto your shoulders, flow down your back and fill your core. Notice how that light can flow through your spine from your neck to the base of your spine. Notice how that light can flow out through your chest through your heart center. Let it flow through your lungs so it spreads through every cell of your body with every breath. Let the light flow through your heart center, connecting with a healing, loving, wise energy that can spread through every cell of your body. Notice your heartbeat pumping. Let the light Flow that energy into your legs. Flow through your hips, through your upper and lower legs now. Filling every cell and fiber of your body with calm. Flowing to your feet, your toes, going deeper within, into the feelings of deep healing. Now let this light flow through your whole body, surrounding your whole body like a healing protective cocoon or canoe of light. Imagine this creates a protective layer of light around you. You can see everything through this light of relaxed, healing, calm, but this light is always around you, safe. Now you are tuned into it. So your core qualities of wise, loving energy come right to the forefront of your mind. Now 
I want you to imagine or visualize the feeling of a staircase that can take you down into a beautiful, safe garden. Notice the color and texture of your staircase. Does it have a handrail? What are the steps made of? Are they wood? Are they stone? Give it 10 steps that you can take into a place where you can access all of your universal knowledge. As you go down the staircase, imagine or feel your feet stepping down. Here are the steps. 10, nine, going deeper with each step down, deeper with every breath, eight, that's it, seven, breathing, noticing the color and texture of your staircase, six, you can see the plants now, slow down, deepen your subconscious, five, doesn't mind at all, four, getting to the bottom of the staircase. Three, ready to step in. Two, your garden. One, and now you're here. Zero, be in your garden. Notice your garden's plants and trees. Imagine red roses, orange fruits, yellow flowers, green moss, the blue of the sky deep purple of the shadows. Notice the plants on the lawn, the clouds in the sky, the highlight and the smell of the light. Notice how tall the trees reach and they have deep roots. Here you can be grounded, aware of the colors of nature and the colors of your chakra energy center. Here, you can be completely aware of your higher self and still stay grounded. Find a place in your garden you can relax comfortably, like a bench or a comfortable chair or recliner. Imagine you are filled and surrounded with inner light, refreshing, healing, relaxing because here the deepest levels of your mind can open and you can remember everything. Now you can invite your spirit guide to be with you. Send that request to the universe now. I ask my spirit guide to come and assist me through this time. Either way, your spirit guide can hear you and assist you to access a past life or lives that relate to your issue at hand. Does your spirit guide have a name? What is it? You can let your spirit guide know that you are here to ask for their guidance into and through a past life or lives that are a cause of present life issues. Now make your way to your place in nature. Find or create in front of you in your garden a tunnel that you can take into your past life. As I count from five down to zero, you can walk into the tunnel. At zero, you'll be at the end of the tunnel ready to emerge into a moment early in this life so that we can begin our journey. Five, as you step into the tunnel, I want you to picture yourself 10 years ago now. As you're walking into the tunnel, I want you to feel yourself 10 years ago in a happy, peaceful state. At a moment in time when you felt pure confidence in yourself. You felt purely at one with the world. You felt perfect in your body, and you felt the joy and bliss of the laughter of youth. 
as you walk through your tunnel four, I want you to picture yourself now even further back, 20 years ago now. How old were you then? I want you to picture yourself joyous and laughing and playing as a child does, running through the tunnel three. I want you, as you continue through your tunnel, to think back, the furthest back you can think, to your very first memory in this life. Two. As you think of that memory, are you inside or outside? Are you in a nursery, perhaps a hospital? Are you a small child or are you a baby? And as we near and can see the exit to the tunnel, one, you can now feel yourself in between lives and stepping through the end of the tunnel with zero, you're in a new place, a new time before this life. And be there. I want you to now look down at your feet. Do you have shoes? Are you barefooted? Pay attention to your clothes here. What do you dress like? Can you see that you are female or male? Where are you? Are you in a city, town? or countryside? Are you inside or are you outside? Are you in a building? Are you in nature? What could be your occupation? Are you a child or are you an adult? What color and texture are your clothes? Can you tell, looking at your hands now, are they clean or dirty? Are they old or young hands? It's okay to imagine yourself or just make up or go along with whatever pops into your mind. Give yourself permission to open your imagination. Which country or continent comes up in your mind? What is your race? Can you tell the color of your skin? What century or time period did a number or year pop up into your mind? What are you doing? Play it forward in your mind. Are you alone or are you with people? Are you saying anything? Are you thinking anything in these moments? How do you feel? Is it a calm scene? Or is something happening? Are the people around you, what are they doing? How do they feel? What is your profession or task that you are doing? Are you succeeding? Are you trying to achieve something? Are there obstacles in your path? Do you have colleagues, competitors? What is your emotional situation here? Let it play. See the scene happen. Are you happy in this life? Is there frustration, anger, or sadness? What is your family life here? Do you see them? Can you see your parents, your brothers, or your sisters? Are there wife, husband, children around you? What is your personal life? Are there friends or allies near you? Or are there enemies? Is there anything else that you can add to this scene or see here? Let it play forward. 
how does this scene end? Now I want you and your spirit guide to take from this moment all that you can as we go forward into another significant time in this past life. Is another significant time in this life affecting present life issues now? Go to the next significant time now. As I count you down from five to zero, you are going to see yourself progress in this life to this next significant time. Five, you can see it playing forward. Four, you are now aging into this next time. Three, you're okay with seeing the next scene. Two, And one, you are now here in the next scene. Where are you now? In the same place or a new one? What year is it now? How many years ahead are you? How old are you now? Can you see an age difference? What is happening now? What life changes have happened for you? What are your emotions or thoughts here? How have they developed or changed over time? Did you make a big decision or choice that changed something for you? What can you learn from this flow of emotions and events How have your most significant relationships developed or progressed? Ask now of your spirit guide to see the knowledge of this moment, the wisdom and the truth. Is there anything else that can be added to this moment? Play it forward to this scene's end. Is there another significant time in that life that is a cause of present life issues? Perhaps a worst time in this life? Go to the very worst possible moment in this life now. Where are you? Is it the same place or a new one? What year is it now? How many years ahead or behind of those moments? How old are you in this moment? What are your emotions and thoughts? Let let it play forward. Let your mind naturally populate the events happening as though it's playing for you as a movie. And I want you to get as much wisdom as possible from this moment and take it forward with you into that next moment. Is there another significant time in that life that is a cause of present life issues? Perhaps a first time where it began? Or have we already seen the first time? If so, go to that first time now. We want to make sure that we get all the wisdom that we can from these moments, letting them play forward naturally as they would progress. We want you to see the scene as though you are there, but with a peaceful calm, knowing that you are not in that moment anymore and that you are safe 
and taking as much wisdom with you as possible. Now as we pause at the end of that scene, I want you to focus on the key people in those events. You can mentally move to them to bring up the faces of the most significant people. Let the first one be there. Focus in on their eyes, on their facial expressions, their mannerisms, energy, and inner self. Are they familiar to you? Do you recognize them? Are they connected to you in a present life? You can recognize people even if they are different genders, ages, or cultures. They will seem familiar to you in a way that you and only you will be able to describe. I want you to now think, how is the past life relationship with this person affecting the present life relationship with this person? Do actions in one life explain or balance out actions in this life? Play it forward and let yourself know the importance of that person. If there is another significant person in these moments for you, I want you to bring your mind now to their face. See their mannerisms, their energy, their soul. Recognize who they are, who they might be for you. And see again how exactly is it their actions or behaviors in a past life might be connected to you in this life. Now, if you feel that it is appropriate, we can go to the end of that past life. We can learn about the experience of leaving the body with a detachment and peace with just enough feeling to get the message, knowing you are safe here and now. As I count you down from five to zero, with five, move to the last day, four of that life, three, with a detachment and peace, two, one, and zero. Be there. Where are you? What age are you? Are you alone or are there others around you now? What life changes have happened? What is happening there? What are your words to them or inner thoughts to yourself? What are the emotions that you feel? And what else do you know now? I want you to play it forward now to the moment of exactly your soul leaving that body. Let go and notice the relief. Leave any emotion or sensation that is no longer your body. Can you look down from the ceiling or sky and see that body? How do you feel about that body now? Describe the transitionary feeling. What did you know about bodies now? Play it forward to see if there is a funeral that you can witness. What happens there? Who is there to support or celebrate you? How do you feel being in that moment with your family? distant. We can pause here for a moment to observe the end of the lifetime by looking down at your body or the funeral. And we can look up and connect with your spirit guide for a brief life review. If you look up, what do you see? Can you see any points of light? Do you feel drawn to or pulled to a brighter point of light? How does it feel? 
Can you move yourself towards the light or through the portal using thought? As I count from five to zero, at zero you will be surrounded completely by loving, wise light. With five into the light, four, move towards the center. With three, feeling the loving, wise light filling you with peace. And two, to meet your spirit guide for a life review with one, zero, now. You can ask your spirit guide or higher self, what was the main lesson from that past life? How was that past life connected to the present life? What new actions can I take now? And what advice would you give me to take forward? Take a moment to bask in your spirit guides, universal knowledge, love, wisdom, and support for you. Are other past lives significantly affecting present life issues? Tell me now, yes or no. It is okay if yes, but we are out of time, so we will visit in the next session. Soon you can come back fully into the present life feeling great because you have been able to experience a regression to a past life where you learned something important that you can take now with you into this life. We thank your spirit guide and higher self for their help now. We ask that they help you integrate this past life recall into your daily life. So anytime you think of this session, you become more present in the now. In a moment, I will count you up to five, and at five, You'll come back fully into the moment, feeling good, so coming up with one, aware of your body with two, into this time and place with three, four, moving the fingers and toes, five, feeling good, eyes open, refreshed and alert, one, two, three, four, five, Feeling good. Great session. Good job. Um, so that is the wrap up. And once you have completed this first session, I will check back in with you. I will make sure that you feel confident and good about the information that you received in this session. If the things that came up were too personal to share, feel absolutely okay with that. You don't have to share with me. One thing that's important for me and is helpful to me um, is the things that you bring out of your past life into this one, the lessons that you take with you that can help you to see things in a different perspective, see things in a different light. And by clarifying moments in your past life, I can help you reframe your thoughts or opinions about them. For example, um, some people that have, for example, a experience in their past life that was a negative one, give an example of someone who in a past life was very poor and did not have very much to eat. So in that past life, they told themselves, I am never going to go hungry again. I, I swear to my soul, I will never go hungry again. And in this life now, 
they have obesity issues or weight problems because even though their intention leaving a past life was good, like I will never go hungry again, the pattern that it created in this life maybe wasn't a good one and caused them to become overweight and have problems with overeating. So sometimes the traumas that we go through, the traumas that we experience, we can set these good intentions on our souls that we think are there to help us or protect us. And in reality, they are not, and they can hold us back and hurt us. Um, in the same way, there are many, many, many other thoughts and conditions and patterns. You can have perfectly good intention to set to protect yourself just the same way that for example, your inner child will tell you to be quieter or not say the thing that you want to say for fear of rejection. These are all ways that our subconscious is just trying to protect us based on what we know. The thing about human experience is that we learn from experience and sometimes the things that we learn from those experiences are skewed and biased and false. And so we might learn, oh my gosh, you need to be quiet because people are going to hate you, which is a protective tendency. But what it ends up doing to us is it makes us self-doubt and it makes us question our actual thoughts and behaviors. So even if your intentions are good, I can help you reframe thoughts and patterns if you're willing to share them with me. So I congratulate you today with whatever progress you are able to see. Some people don't fully progress into a past life the first time. You may have only seen images from this one. You may have completely immersed yourself in a past life experience. And whichever one is true for you, if it's partially true, if you just saw a glimpse of a past life even, if you saw no past life even but were able to access some moments in this life that are important that you can take something from, this is just the first door that's been opened and you did great, I assure you. Um, everyone is different and everyone's level of subconscious comfort opens at a different rate. So your subconscious is just trying to protect you and it won't show you anything that you're not ready for or that you can't handle. The great thing about the human mind is very self-protective. So congratulations for your first past life regression session. Look out for me to check in uh, in roughly an hour after your session. So you do have several minutes to kind of collect, gather your thoughts and opinions from this session, and I will be in touch soon. Thank you so much for participating in session one of my case studies. Bye!